Okay, so as you see, the rig is so complex that I need to make two videos in order to cover all the controls. But I mean, that's not bad, right? You have lots of options to work with. So let's continue with some more specific controls and with the facial controls. All right then, well, the rib cage has a bunch of controllers that will let you tweak each rib separately. It also has general controllers that will let you perform the whole rib cage motion at once. If you scale the main torso controller, you will get an automatic breathing motion. Note that there's no bending deformation here. Fredegund has a very complex rig that treats each bone as a separate rigid object and all the mechanisms are working together here to give you an organic yet realistic deformation. As I told you in the previous video, you can find the pivot controllers on several spots on the rig. Here I'm using the master torso pivot controller to perform this kind of somersault motion in a controllable way. All right, now let's move on to the tune controllers. So, even though I said that the deformation is achieved in a realistic way, you still have tons of tune controllers that you can use to bend all the bones around. The properties layer contains the bones that have all the keyable settings that you see in the UI. The scale layer contains controllers that will let you uniformly scale several parts of the rig. The extras layer has controllers such as the floor controllers for the fit, a secondary master or root controller. It has an accessories controller where you can attach things to the hands and in the extras tab you can switch the accessories from the right hand to the left hand or set it free. And it also has a hat and an eyeglasses controller where you can attach hats or eyeglasses respectively. And finally we get to the facial controllers. So we have a generic tune controller that can perform several motions on the whole head. And even though Fred's head is just a simple skull, you could always animate it as if it were an organic face. The eyebrows have a bunch of main controllers that will allow you to set the curvature of the whole thing. And you can also manipulate each joint separately. The eyes have a blink controller. They also feature automatic collision detection between the eyelids. And you can even pull the whole eye out of its eye socket. As you can see there, the eyelids simulate the volume of the iris beneath them. Finally, both the iris and the pupils are scalable. With the look bone, you can also scale the eye socket organically. Well, now let's move on to the mouth. So with the mouth controller, you can achieve all the possible mouth expressions. If you move it in a circular way, you will be able to open the mouth to make certain vowels there. Then you have the mouth corner controllers and you also have the main lips controllers. Well, in this case, the lips are just bare teeth. Notice that you have automatic collision detection between the teeth. And then we have some lips roll controllers that will let you perform an M vowel or a U vowel, although in this rig, all those things don't make much sense, but you still have the option to do that. Then there's a mouth master controller that will let you move the mouth around. You also have the lips collision override controllers that will let you move the lips without that automatic collision taking place. Then we have the tongue controllers and well, a bunch of other controllers that you can play around with. There is also a cheek puff controller that will let you like inflate the geometry and then you can move around the location where that deformation takes place. If you select the cheek puff control, you will find a custom property that will let you set the radius of the effect. Finally, in the third facial layer, you will find all the separate joints that conform the face rig and a couple of secondary controllers plus a different mouth control bone. In this case, it's a controller that lets you animate the mouth in a symmetric way. That is, instead of moving it in a circular way and rotating it to obtain all the vowels, you scale this controller to widen the mouth. If you move it up and down, the mouth corners will go up and down. And then in order to open the mouth, you must use the jaw controller, which by the way is called Maxi from Maxillar Bone. Well, that's it for this video, and in the next one, I'm gonna start covering Fredegon's unique settings. So, 
rock on, happy blending, and I'll see you next time. Oh, I was forgetting. If you want to start rigging your characters with Blend Rig, don't forget to check the GitHub link below and join our Discord channel.